Mr. Doggett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, up till now, and it's after 10 o'clock, we've been on small potatoes. 400 million for the insurance industry, 600 million for these tanning, cancer-causing entities. But now we're into some real money. As I understand it, the pharmaceutical industry will get a total of about $25 billion of tax breaks. Isn't that right? Uh, the repeal will reduce uh, receipts from this source yes, sir. by uh, and uh, this this industry though you don't have the data at your fingertip it wouldn't surprise you Mr. Barthold that they're about the most profitable major industry in the country that they report profit margins of more than 25 percent I can't comment on uh, a profit rate. I did and, acknowledge that the industry in general has been fairly profitable over uh, yes, the past. And, and they're not exactly needy when it comes to tax breaks, are they? They, they have some of the lowest tax rates, effective tax rates, among major industries, don't they? Uh, I can't uh, comment uh, on on their tax rates without looking at uh, without looking at our data, which I don't have available. I see you don't have the data. Well, unfortunately, well, I, we don't I have any other data. witnesses with not, data. Uh, I did but, not know uh, that. this. The, you you are uh, in your testimony aware that that this is a 25 billion with a B tax break. And it's only directed to big pharma. It doesn't apply to generics. It's only to branded pharmaceuticals. Is that right? That's correct, sir. In other words, co company, companies like Pfizer, which has almost $200 billion of profits booked offshore, 181 subsidiaries uh, to avoid taxes. Uh, are there any tax breaks in this provision for the Davila Pharmacy, the community pharmacy over on the west side of San Antonio by Plaza Guadalupe or any of the other community pharmacies around the country? I'm, I'm not quite clear on your question. In other words, this, this special tax provision that the Republicans have, have pro provided here today, $25 billion for big pharma, but there's not a penny in here for any community pharmacy in the in the country, is there? This, uh, as I was explaining to Mr. Levin, this is like an excise tax, and it's an excise tax on the manufacturer. On and the manufacturer, so you're, you're not, correct. Not it on the community apply to pharmacy, retail, because you see, sales. my experience with Davila Pharmacy and most of the community pharmacies, they don't even have one subsidiary offshore to dodge taxes. Pfizer's got 181. Uh, they have booked over $200 million billion offshore profits, uh, and it just seems to me that when you, you – they, they are also – aren't these big pharma companies, they're able to take advantage of the research and development tax credit, where taxpayers uh, justifiably or not subsidize a significant portion of their R&D expenses, don't they? I, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Doug. Turn, the uh, – I didn't catch all of your question because I well, was Well, it's to get just that colleague, we but. have a host of legal ways for big pharma to dodge taxes at the same time that it price gouges people all over this country. We pay more for pharmaceuticals uh, than just about any other country in the world, and it doesn't relate to this tax break, and there's not a penny that a Medicare recipient is going to get out of this provision only a $25 billion right back into the hands of Big Pharma. Now, this provision actually resulted, did it not, from negotiations before the Affordable Care Act began the legislative process here in Congress between the Obama administration and the pharmaceutical industry in lieu of the pharmaceutical industry really doing something significant like agreeing to Medicare price negotiation, which would bring down prices and address what President Trump calls literally murdered by these, these pharmaceutical companies? Uh, I do not know that firsthand. I am aware of the uh, re news reports at the time that the administration had um, negotiations with multiple industry uh, uh, sectors. And you're, you're, of course, aware of the many comments President Trump has made about how outrageous drug prices are and the need to bring them down. I, I've read the papers. Uh, it sure would be good if uh, he were supporting something here 
to actually do something about it instead of give another windfall, a real windfall, $25 billion to Big Pharma. All time has expired. Mr. Swiker.